Hello, my name is Maria and this is Mathy, my mascot. In this lesson we are studying adding and subtracting whole tens. Some more mental math. My first example is 250 plus 40. You might find it an easy problem, right? Basically we have 200 here and 50 and 40. And we add those tens. The 50 and 40 makes 90, of course. And so we get those 200s there and 90. Another one. I have 128 plus 60. Now that looks a little bit more complicated, doesn't it? But we're just adding whole tens. We have the 120 and 8 over here, and then 60 or 6 more tens. So again, you're just adding the tens together. The two tens and the six tens makes, of course, eight tens. Over here, notice the two tens and the six tens. So you add those, you get eight tens. And the 100 does not change. And these here don't change. So we get 188. Let's try it without pictures too. 740 plus 50. Notice those whole tens, 40 and 50, right? And so we get 90. And then we have the 700. So just 790. Your helping problem, can you see what that is? It's of course the 40 plus 50. That's your helping problem here. Now how about here? 612 plus 80. Again, we are adding eight tens, eight whole tens. So look here at the tens digit. There's one ten, and here we have eight tens. One and eight makes nine tens, right? Your helping problem is here. Ten and eighty makes ninety. And then you have the six hundred, and then you have the nine tens, and then you have the two. Here, we're going to add in columns, or write the numbers under each other in this grid. This is the first number to add. So we have, what do we have? Matthew, you go write it, okay? This, yep, 200, and 3 tens, and 6. And then over here, 5. Not 5 here, no. 5 tens. So it goes here in the tens column, and then zero here. Thank you, Matthew. Now it's easy to add. You add in the ones, tens, and hundreds. So here we get six, here we get eight, here we get two. And of course, you could have just read the picture, so to speak, to find this, but we want to also practice writing numbers in the grid, okay? And here we're going to do the saying, except subtract, not add. This is the number we subtract from, and we're going to subtract 30. So, even though it is going to be easy just to use a picture to find the answer, let's practice writing the numbers in the grid. Matthew, come, come again, okay? What do we have here? 200, yes, 2 goes there. And then, yeah, you count the tens, exactly, 6 tens, and then 7 ones. Subtract 30, so it goes, yeah, Matthew knows where to put it, 30. And then you subtract in the ones, in the tens, in the hundreds. There's nothing to subtract in the hundreds. Let's go on and subtract some more. 350 minus 40. We're subtracting whole tens. Four whole tens. So again, look at this five tens minus four tens. That leaves one ten, right? And then we have the 300, 310. Next I'm going to do this one. 472 minus 50. Again, we are subtracting whole tens here, five tens. So look over here at the tens digit. The tens, seven tens minus five tens. Two tens, right? Nothing else changes. There's 400 and the two and two tens. Look, Matthew, your favorite number. Yeah, he likes that. 999 minus 30. Again, this is three tens. Look at your tens digit, the nine. Nine tens minus three tens. Six tens. Yep. And then we have the nine hundred. And then we have the nine ones that they don't change. And lastly, this one, thousand minus sixty. Now, think of a hundred minus sixty, because you have to take away sixty from a hundred, or ten tens. And here you have lots of hundreds here. 
right? A thousand is ten hundreds. From one of those hundreds, you take away the sixty. So you will have left nine hundred, right? And, so, and then from the hundred, you take away sixty, you will have forty left. Nine hundred, forty. Your helping problem here is hundred minus sixty equals forty. Next, we're going to feature Mathy and Giganta. Here, this is Giganta, Mathy's cousin. And they have a word problem here. Let's see. In one week, Mathy bicycled 430 kilometers, and Giganta bicycled 490 kilometers. Okay. You were practicing or whatever, right? Yeah, practicing bicycling. How many kilometers more did Giganta bicycle than Mathy? Okay, how many kilometers more? This is a how many more question. How many more? And those are always solved by subtracting. Or you can think of how many more addition, right? Two ways to think about it. And so if I write how many more addition, then I would think of it this way. 430 plus how many more would make 490? If I think of subtraction, then I would write 490 minus 430. Either way, think of the difference between these two numbers. How far apart are they? Are they? There's 30 and 90, right? 400 doesn't change things, so we have 60 here. 60 kilometers more. Okay. Is that Matthew? Here's a bonus question for you. Uh -huh. How many kilometers did they bicycle in total? Yeah, that's a good question. How many kilometers did they bicycle in total? In total would mean we need to add. These are big numbers to add for second graders. 430 plus 490. Okay, I can add 400 and 400, and you can too, right? It's 800. How about 30 and 90? How much would 30 and 90 be? Let's think about that. 30 plus 90. You should know that too. It goes over 100. It's going to be 120. Okay. That's our helping problem there. So I get 400. Let's think about it here. I have 400 and 400. And then I have 30 and 90, which made 120. Could you add those three numbers? 400 and 400. 800, and then 100 more is 900, and then 20. 920 kilometers, wow, almost a thousand kilometers together. All right, thank you, Gianta. Lastly, this looks like a puzzle. The idea is that we're going to put into these boxes plus or minus signs. And then we are going to calculate what kind of different numbers we get. And how would you get the biggest number? You know, if I put here plus or minus, and then I check the answers here, how would I get the biggest possible number? Uh-huh. Matthew knows. Yeah, add, right, add and add. Add and add, and that makes the biggest possible number. 400 plus 70 is 470. And then 50 more. 470 plus 50. Okay, 470. And then complete the next whole 100. 470 and 30 would complete 500. And then 20 more. So we get 520. And then what happens if I add and subtract? What do I get then? 400 plus 70. 470. Minus 50 is 420. Just 100 less than here. Or how about if I subtract and add, then what happens? 400 minus 70, that's 330. Yeah, let me write it here. And then add 50 to that. So we have 30 and 50, so we get 380. And I didn't have space for the one other possibility, 400 minus 70 minus 50. But you can do that on your own. We're all done with this lesson.